Corey and Denise from Does Size Matter. We got another RV review for you today. This is going to be a bit of an update to tell you what's different for 2021. Uh, we are going to do the Chateau Class C 22B and I'll link to the nuts and bolts construction at the end and then I'll just give you the updates uh, here because there have been a few changes and then we'll take you on a tour. So remember everything Corey and I tell you, it's just our opinion based on the research that we do. Don't forget to look in the description for your link to your RV reviews resource for your research, for the timestamps, for the currency converter, because we are at Fraser Ray RV here in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada, right on the highway. <laughs> and it's noisy, so I'm gonna do my very best to give you all the information and hopefully it's not too noisy for you. So let's get started. The Chateau is on the Ford E350 uh, Super Duty, and there has been a few changes to that. Uh, let me get my notes. They have changed the motor to a V8, where it was a V10 before. So it's now got a 7.3 liter engine, 350 horsepower, and 468 foot-pounds of torque. Now you can also get this Chateau with a Chevy engine if that's your preference and I'll tell you about that. A 6.0 liter V8, 323 horsepower and 373 foot-pounds of torque. But most of the ones that we're seeing here are on that Ford chassis. Now the rest of it's pretty much all the same, the suspension and such. We do know that on uh, some of the bigger floor plans the suspension is a little bit different. Uh, but for this one, it's the same as that previous video that, I want, video that I want you to link back to. So coming down the side here, the driver's side, you do get some pretty big mirrors and you get our favorite thing, the running boards. I'll take you into the cockpit though when we're on the inside. It'll be warmer and quieter, I promise. <laughs> so this is a Class C, right? So you get the cab over and then into the, the body of it. Uh, here is your, there we go, this is your uh, propane access, so that's good. And coming back, you have uh, a 30 amp connection, a TV hookup, your Sani flush, your city water connection, uh, a water tank fill, and then down here is your generator. So you get a 4,000 watt Cummins Onan generator. The exhaust is there. So remember that when you're pulling up to stuff. Um, what I am noticing is that there is not something to hold this door up. There is on the left side. This here? Yeah. Oh, I see. It's this. Okay. Thanks, Cor. So it's this kind of system uh, to hold up your doors. Not my favorite system because they can get broken easily, but I guess too, they can also be replaced easily. So there's that. Um, you also have an outdoor shower and here's your slide. So there is only one small slide on this floor plan and it's on a Schwintec system. You've got your bulbs here, your flap here to help keep it in. This is a perfectly good uh, mechanism for this weight of slide. And if you look way up, you get a topper on it. So I love that. That'll all come included. Nice. So down here, let's talk about tires. Uh, this is the Dynapro HT LT225 75R16. Hope that helps you out. Try not to smash my head on that. So here's your fuel fill, and this is a gas coach, remember. Uh, coming down, I'm just gonna open this up for you because first of all, I like doors that open to the side like that. And then this is your storage. So it's lit and you know, they've maximized it uh, for different levels and things. You know, they're gonna use every bit of space they can. And then underneath here is uh, your sewage drain and your gray and your black valve. Now, 
what I really like about this is it's this is easy to access. It's out at a, a nice spot. You're not climbing in under too far. What I don't love is that these valves are not included in the space underneath so they could get debris and dirt and those kinds of things on them i do know if you can get under there that this does have an enclosed underbelly and getting heated tanks and things is also an option uh, not sure if this one has it or not but i'll try and look on their options list and see what i can find for you also we've got some manual uh, stabilizer jacks back here as well and the way that this rear one is placed um, would make it a little bit challenging to use the drill hack with to get it up and down. You might just need to go with the post thing just because it's got to work around this plumbing. Okay, let's go take a look at the back. There is a ladder. Wow, it's way quieter. <laughs> How much nicer is that? Ladder so you could get up there and you do get a receiver hitch here and i'll figure out what the weight is on that for you i also see that there's a backup camera so that's handy i mean these are smaller rigs but still handy to have that right so coming around to the passenger side quite a nice um a bit different color package with the blues in it so that's kind of nice and you get a good sized awning with your LED lighting and it'll be electric. You get some more electric here and then another storage compartment here. So it's small, but remember, this is a small rig, um, but you could put tools and stuff in there and it is lit and it opens up down. So that's good too, because remember that other one uh, with the side opening door was underneath the slide. So you do want to be careful about that. And then coming around, we've got another uh, running board to help us get in. Uh, but we'll go in and take a look at the cockpit when we're on the inside. So let's see what we've got for the door here. Okay, so it's not on a friction hinge, but it kind of um, stays in this position. It's not going to open further than this. You've got the awning arm behind and then you do get the um, screen door which is not self-closing but it's all good it provides you with everything that you would need in a screen door so i like that now i'm going inside come on way quieter warmer <laughs> so that's nice okay so this is pretty nice the decor is uh lighter still in the beige tones but it's lighter uh, it is a Class C, and this is the feature of a Class C, is having this bunk above the cockpit, right? This is another bed. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it pulls out, but I, I was noticing that there's this little net thing here, and I think if you pull on it, it will pull this mattress into position. There we go. Well, maybe I have to push the front one. There's a lot of um, seat belt things here too. So I know this comes flat somehow. And then there's this and it's seat belts. So I think what this is, is like a cargo net. And you would obviously get a stool first, step one. <laughs> and then you would plug these seat belts in up there which would help keep things up there and not from sliding when you were in transit so that's kind of a good idea and i mean if you're not going to use this it's up and out of the way so you're walking through here without banging your head but really even if you keep this down you keep cargo up there you've got it seat belted in you can still get into here really quite easily so i kind of like that idea that they have that there's a big TV up there, and that would be on an arm that could rotate out this way so that when you're sitting in areas over here, you could still watch it. Um, there's also a privacy curtain that would go across uh, a window. And the other thing that I noticed, see if I can put this back a bit. Oh, also, there's a ladder that hooks into here so that you can climb up and down. The other thing that I noticed, though, is that there's a whole uh, little shelf compartment thing 
in here as well. But there's a whole compartment. So that's nice so that when you're sleeping up there or whatever, if that's your space, you've got some storage there. Sleeps, I'll get the size, um, but it is two kids anyways, maybe one adult, two kids. So that's the bunk area. And then let's go into the cockpit. It's just a small step down, really. Uh, you just wanna know that for when you're moving up. And then I move into my seat. These are pretty comfortable seats, but remember this is really just a, a, a truck cab, honestly. Uh, you're getting a regular windshield like a truck. I get a door and window, the same as a truck. Um, the leg room space, pretty standard. So, you know, nothing special, but completely functional and good and easy to get in and out of. So I like it. Now we'll let Corey tell you about the other side. Surprise, we decided I would show you because I can actually drive this. I think it will be fine. The mirrors are plenty big. The cockpit is, is just like a pickup, right? Um, so yeah, you, everything works just like a Ford truck's uh, cab would. It, and I can reach, the seat's comfortable, the dashboard is basic but it has you know all the venting and cup holders and the nav system and all that kind of stuff so it's just fine i can reach everything i got lots of headroom it's fine the um the windshield's good i can see the the hood i could do this should we take one for a test drive <laughs> let's do it <laughs> they did give us the keys <laughs> all right let's go show you the rest so before we go on to the next bed in the dinette, I just want to take a look at the ceiling because there's a few features in here to show you. You are getting a vent over the bunk area. Uh, you're getting quite a bit of puck lighting throughout and that's all on switches and it's good lighting. So I'm happy with that and it's basic. You get your AC, which is not ducted, but will be plenty to circulate in this small of a rig. You're getting a vent over the kitchen area by the stove and then you're getting another one over top of the master bed back there and near the bathroom. So that's gonna circulate lots of air there too. So it's all, I think you get some pretty good air circulation in here. Then you come to the dinette. Now there is that one slide in this unit, but it's at the back. So the dinette is also gonna make into a bed. And I'll see if I can show you how to do that. We also get one of my favorite things, which is a drawer under there, and it's really useful in these smaller rigs to have that, right? While we're here, I notice the price is on the table here. At Fraser Way today, this rig is priced at $103,990, and of course that's Canadian, and the currency converter's in the description, so go check that out. But I also want to show you these options uh, that are on this rig. And so those stabilizing jacks that I talked about are electric. It's also got heated remote outside mirrors with side cameras. So that's a good option. Um, what else? So, okay. Remember I was talking that this net up here was to keep your gear in place. They call it a child safety net. <laughs> so, if you are uh, a couple like us traveling on your own, it's to hold your gear in place. <laughs> if you're a family, it's so that your child can sleep on the bunk and be safe. <laughs> uh, it does have that child safety tether, an extra battery, the outside shower, and it also has the holding tanks with heated pads. So that, that was something that I was wondering about, and it has it. The table is a laminate. It does have cup holders in it and it just rolls over the edge, no seams or anything like that. So that's nice. Um, moving down, I'll see here. Okay, so there's electrical under here too. And this is how you make this down into a bed. It's just a, you unhook the lock thing and then it's just pressure, right? And it just settles right down into these little pieces under here. You fold your, uh, cushions down and you're good and then to make it back up it's just a pulling system now remember it's cold whenever things are cold they're not as smooth as we'd all love but it still works pretty pretty simply 
and then you just put the lock back in place and you're good for it to be a table again. The other thing I want to mention is that there's going to be seat belts in these seats. So that's important. I think there is one on each side. And in my research, I did learn that you can get options for these to be the appropriate design if you want to put a child seat in there. So that's good to know if you are planning to bring smaller children in here because you definitely have the sleeping space. Okay, what else? You get speakers. There's USB, nice lighting. Um, and then these are nice cabinets too. I like those. Quite a bit of storage up there. It's tall and it's all one piece. So whether you put bins or, I mean, you could even make this closed storage, right? Each person has a bin of stuff in there. The decor, I know people aren't really into these boxes around, but this looks quite nice. It, to me, it's not overwhelming in any way. I like it. And then you get your uh, horizontal blinds. These will be single pane windows, I believe. Let me just... Yeah, they are. But I know as an option, you can get dual pane. It's a nice size window if you're riding here and looking out. That's great. It lets a lot of light in. So I like that, you all know. Then let's go over to this side. So there's this big cabinet up here, which has a lot of electronic-y type stuff in it. I don't know how I would ever <laughs> access that. And the reason is you could... You could use a stool and stuff here, but I'm afraid because the steps go right out there too. So I would need some kind of platform that I could put over the steps so that I could access that space. Um, also the buttons for the slide and all those things. What else? The awning, the water heater, that kind of stuff is all here. There's also electric and all the light switches and the battery shut off down there. countertop has a flip up you guys know I love that because it just adds so much to this counter and it's the same as the table no seams flips over what do we got we have a single uh, sink stainless undermount but it's very large so I mean I again prefer divided sinks but this is good and you'll just have to you know maybe flip this up and use a drain rack or something like that to uh, drain your dishes and yes, you're going to have to dry them. Put them away too. Nice tap, sprayer, good window. I do like that you have the covers, uh, but you're not going to cut on that, right? That would be the same as just cutting on your countertop. But it's nice and it gives you that extra countertop space, right? And then moving down. Oh, so this is like a, a sponge one, a small drawer and I bet it gets bigger yes it does so there's a bigger one and one more so that that's pretty good and then going back up also your light switches are here and these are nice wow okay so those are great but way too high for me uh, what is significant is that these are all adjustable and they have a little lip on them see that so your stuff that's in there is uh, not going to just come slide note like a stacked locker. <laughs> Remember that in high school when people used to do that? <laughs> so anyways, adjustable, nice cabinets. Then over to the stove and microwave. Let's start at the top. Okay, can you guys see in there? Tell me what it is. <laughs> I'll find it when I go to editing. And then you get a microwave, small, but you do also get a stove with an oven. So what do we got? This is the Furion, three burner, uh, propane, nice. I like the levelness of it. That's good. And there's the oven. So it's on the smaller side for sure. And another drawer. So it looks good, matches the appliance, but it's a drawer. I like that. So while we're down here, uh, we should talk about this flooring. 
Uh, it's a vinyl product. It looks good. It's not too dark, not too light. We're still in that beigey uh, brownie with a slight bit of gray in it. So that's nice. And then I will take you over to the fridge. All right. Oh, here's something that I see too. There is a child seat uh, hookup right there. And then like you can hook the seat up and then the piece comes up and out there. So that is good to know. And there's also a nice mirror here. There is a bit of a step up here and it is lit. So that's good. But it takes you up a bit where the fridge is. I do like the paneling that's in the fridge. It matches really nice. I'm guessing this is going to be a six cubic foot. It's a Dometic. Um, it's a little bit high, but it's not bad. I'm good with that. I mean, it's a nice size fridge. And then on the other side here is storage. Oh yeah, that's good. All reachable, adjustable shelves. They've all got the little lip on it. So that's good. And then down here, um, so here's your furnace, right? And there's more storage and this is very cool. It's the perfect spot for your garbage can. So I like that. And then another drawer there. So they're doing pretty good in storage here. And then let's go in the bathroom. Okay, shower, let me show you. So we've got the one piece plasticky standard surround stuff, standard taps, uh, skylight. So that's the height of it. And then it has a curtain, which, uh, you know, I don't mind curtains. Few good things about curtains. It doesn't block off space. It is an easy thing to replace if it gets gunky or not so great. It doesn't trap you in the shower. Um, so I don't mind. I know I like the glass shower doors and all that stuff too, but I, I don't mind a curtain if that's what's being in an RV. Then going down, you get a porcelain foot flush toilet. The uh, toilet paper is on the edge here of the vanity. You get a small sink, standard taps, not a lot of countertop space, so I'm not in love with that. Electrical, and then um, a small amount of storage, but it is there. I mean, the top is for plumbing, but the bottom is still quite usable. You could put bins in there. And then up here where the mirror is, which I would say is a nice and appropriately placed mirror, you get more storage. And then going up, you get the vent, so that's good. There is also a hook for um, your towels and that kind of stuff. And I'm not seeing any heat ducting, but there is space in the door to allow uh, airflow. So that's how that would work. Then next, I'm going to take you into the bedroom area. This is where that slide is. So it's a little tight in here, but coming around, this is as far as I can go on this side of the bed. But you know, you can still climb up there. Um, it's a decent looking decor. You've got sliders on both sides um, and your blinds there. Fair amount of storage space and that goes all the way through. So that's good too. Nice little headboard. Um, this side does not have a nightstand, but this side does. It's pretty small, but it's there. The other thing I wanted to show you back, well, first of all, you get this great window, which I love. There's also a spot for TV, cable, all that in there. And then I want to talk about how this fits, right? Because this is the only slide in the rig and there's not a ton of space here. So I'll show you. The mattress flips right up into that space. And then I'll try and show you. There's a platform underneath here. So it's the platform that pulls in to pull the slide in. And the mattress just stays up like this. So important point, slides in, cracker barrel factor, you're not going to use this bed. But you've got that dinette that makes sound and you've got the bunk. So depending on how many of you are traveling, 
you would be able to, what I would do, because I'd have all my stuff stored up on that bunk with that little netting thing, I'd bring all that down, stick it back here, and make a bed up there for those one-nighters in Cracker Barrel, because you're still going to have access to your full kitchen, your dinette, your bathroom, and it'll be fine. So I'm just going to pull this back down, because it looks nicer. There's also a privacy curtain here, so that you can... Uh, you know, block off this space so that the bathroom is still for everybody. But on this side of the bed, you do get electrical and USB. So that's handy if you're going to use this as the nightstand. There's also a bigger shelf or cupboard. So lots of storage drawer. there. Drawer. <laughs> drawer. And then come around this way. There's mirrors here. And this is your closet space. And it's a pretty big closet. Like, I mean, that's a bit of a high rod for us, but that's a lot of space. And what is that on that side? Let me go around and look at that. Oh, hi, <laughs> this is cool. So you can get into this closet from either side. While we're here, let's take a look at the numbers. All right, the numbers for the 2021 Chateau Class C 22B. Uh, the gross vehicle weight is, because remember this is on the Ford chassis, 12,500 pounds, and the cargo carrying capacity comes in at about 1,140 some, but that's with full tanks, so remember that. Um, the wheelbase, 158 inches. The exterior length is at 24 feet. The exterior height with the AC is at 11 feet. The exterior width, 99 inches. Um, interior height in here, probably not in the step-up bathroom bedroom portion, uh, is 84 inches. The awning size outside, 15 feet. Uh, fuel tank, 55 gallons. There is uh, 40 pounds of propane. The fresh water is at 40 gallons, the wastewater's at 29 gallons, and the gray water's at 25 gallons. So that's interesting that the black is more than the gray. Water heater, six gallons. The furnace is at 19,000 BTUs. They are telling me here that there's 30.9 cubic feet of storage. And the hitch weight rating out there is for 8,000 pounds of towing. Now, I do have bed sizes and stuff from this brochure that I can tell you about as well. So the queen bed back there, where you guys are, is at 60 by 74 inches. And the TV that could be back there if you wanted, which is an option, is 32 inches. The shower is uh, 24 by 36. And the dinette makes down into a 76 inch dinette. The bed over the cab is 54 by 96, and the TV that's up there is a 39 inch. I also see that you can have an optional outdoor TV that would be uh, 32 inches. So for those of you folks who like your TV watching, there could be lots of options on this one. So nice rig, Class C is a nice way of just traveling around and having everything right with you similar to what our class A is, and we like that style of travel. So if it's for you, this could be the one. If we've helped you in any way and you found value in this video and you'd like to, we really appreciate it if you'd leave us a tip. Helps us to make more of these videos and carry on our research and sharing with you. Otherwise, if you're just hanging out because you love looking at RVs like I do, give us a like, hit the subscribe if you haven't already. It's super fun showing these to you. Thanks for watching.